have you ever felt a deep shift within you like you are feeling that something is going to change in your life something big is coming up something positive is going to happen that could be one sign of spiritual awakening in this video we are going to discuss about what are those signs of spiritual awakening which is going to happen in your life based on palmistry i'm going to showcase some of the signs in your palm which can mean that spiritual awakening is going to happen or it's already happening and what are the signs in astrology too in the vedic astrology in your birth chart what are the signs which means that a big change is coming towards you and what happens with these changes so we're going to discuss all these things in this video and if you're ready to explore this transformation and new to the channel please consider subscribing it now my name is gautam host for this channel from canada and the main objective for this such videos is to really fuel your inner strength fuel your soul and understand your potential in in your spiritual life all right so let's start this video with the very first sign which i wanted to discuss today is when the spiritual awakening hits your life you get really sensitive to energies you get really sensitive to like positive energy and negative energy of place people and also of many other sub ob objects or you know any articles so what happens is that sometimes you are friend to some people in the past who were who were materialistic who were good with you but suddenly because of the spiritual awakening now you start disliking a lot of people earlier you used to like your friends you were like very good with people you used to hang around with them and you know go for parties socialize but now suddenly you feel that they are not your group yeah they, they are not the kind of people you want to be with this could be a sign that some energies are changing spiritual energies are changing because when the spiritual awakening happens in your life it's like universe is talking to you whispering you and you are responding to the universe in a very spiritual way you become very non materialistic suddenly that's also one sign of getting spiritually awakened earlier you used to you love like shopping you love high end expensive things you were very materialistic to get more earn more get more promotions but now suddenly you are at a point that these things doesn't attract you anymore if yes then it's a sign that you know spiritual awakening is happening and one very very important sign uh, uh, is that you know the positive and negative signs uh positive signs is like you're thinking something you're thinking or about something and this is very generic that you know there's some positive uh sound you hear for example you're thinking that uh you and you're trying to manifest something and suddenly your phone rings or there's a message it means that it's a very positive sign from the universe what you're thinking what you're manifesting what your intentions are at that time when the phone rings or when you know there's someone at the door and the bell rings that's a good sign that's a positive sign however there are certain instances when uh, you're thinking something and someone sneezes that could be a negative sign or you you are thinking something or you're trying to do or manifest and something falls on the floor and that kind of a disturbing noise or sound is really annoying anything which can be a really really annoying sound to you could be a sign that what you're thinking is it's not going in the right way you get very sensitive to these positive and negative signs for example you're thinking something to do and suddenly there is this paramedics or ambulance noise coming in or you hear that so that could also be a little negative sign so you get you you understand so many these signs and and i did a video last time on this video on 11 11 it's also one sign of really getting awakened that you are thinking something and suddenly 
um, you know, on the phone you see, oh, 11, 11, or on your computer, or suddenly you see numbers, 333, 555, five, five, then these are also a very strong sign that awakening is happening. The universe is trying to give you some message and some transformation is going to happen and hold that moment and really manifest for a moment that yes, things will change and I will do very positively, strong ahead in life and, and see the magic. Things will definitely change. All right. The very first sign in the palm which I wanted to discuss today is this sign which you can see on the screen is the cross X between the headline and the heart line. We call it as a mystical X, mystical cross. I have done some videos on this earlier in the past. And if you have this cross X in your palm, that is a very strong indication that spiritual awakening will happen. You will be a spiritual personality. And uh, this will make you understand your life purpose. In, in And it will also be very, it's, it's a very strong sign, this X that you are getting, getting very compassionate and very empathetic to others. You are feeling other people's energy. You are consuming other people's uh, happiness or sadness. That's making you very sensitive in life. So uh, it's a overall a good sign of you know being very awakened. But if you know how to channelize these energies, then you can you know try to balance, make a wall by using certain positive crystals which you have in your life or anything which you feel is very good or positive you can use that more or by doing certain positive mantras or meditation or yoga that could be a very good sign for you the second sign which i wanted to discuss in the palm is this triangle below or on the mount of ketu ketu is the spiritual planet the most spiritual planet and if you have this sign in your palm as you can see on the screen that could be a sign that you now want to detach from social environment now you want to detach suddenly from your nine to five if you have this sign you will be feeling you will be getting that feeling that now you want to really quit your job and do something of your own perhaps something very creative very uh, the thing which you really desired from a long time a thing which is coming from a soul level. So this Mount of Ketu and this kind of a triangle sign over here could be a very positive sign for a spiritual awakening in your palm. And this third sign which you can see on the screen is a cross X on the Mount of Jupiter. The Mount of Jupiter is connected with wisdom, knowledge. And an X over there is certainly a very good sign of spiritual awakening. Something transformation is going to hit your life. And you can even hear, hear something positive news from long distance. Because Jupiter is connected with long distance connections. So your spiritual path could get awakened once you move into a different place. Or sometimes it happens that you connect with the nature. You come from a long journey and suddenly you get spiritually awakened. Sometimes you go to some, some place, some religious place or spiritual place. And once you come back, you come back very awakened. If that's the scenarios in your life, then certainly you have this cross X on the Mount of Jupiter. And if I talk as per astrology, then there are certain more signs which indicate spiritual awakening in life. And the number one sign is, of course, uh, any change of Mahadasha and Antadasha. When you are at the cusp, say for example, till next month, your certain dasha is going, Mahadasha is going on and next month it's changing to a different planetary dasha. When the planetary timeline changes in your life, that brings certain changes in your spiritual awakening too. Also, whenever you enter into the Ketu Mahadasha or Ketu Antra Dasha, whenever that time you can check in your birth chart, that is a time of spiritual awakening too. Also, when Saturn's Mahadasha and Antadashas uh, happen in your life, that is also considered as a spiritual awakening. Some people consider that uh, Saturn's Sade Sati as a time of spiritual awakening, but I, am, I have not seen that thing happening 
in many birth chart and in, in you know many of uh, our lives so saturn sade sati is not going to impact your life in a very negative way because a lot of people feel that saturn sade sati or the seven and a half years of saturn return in your life can be a problem no that's not a uh, issue at all what is more important is saturn's position in your birth chart specifically in your birth chart if your eighth house and the twelfth house is getting activated that is also a sign of enlightenment because 12th house is connected with enlightenment 12th house is connected with the discovery of spiritual path you will discover spiritual path very naturally it will come from the universe you don't have to run towards spiritual path spiritual path will find you and spiritual path will adopt you as as a life as a karma if 12th house your 12th house is active which means that in your birth chart if you have maximum planets in the 12th house or maximum planets in the 8th house 8th house ignites the psychic abilities also intuition also the mediumship abilities also healing abilities when spiritual awakening happens somehow you feel that you are a healer sometimes you feel that you can heal others and yes certainly the your spiritual energy your aura changes very positively and your hand is like a healing hand if you have like 8th house and 12th house very active maximum planets in these houses then certainly you are very powerful you are good with in these things and not in materialistic gains and desires but in healing in spiritual path you can do really good and few more things when the spiritual awakening happens in your life is that there is also a small a uh, very strong enhancement in your creativity suddenly you can get like very creative in life and want to do things everything you do in your life you will do it very creative very different you will have different approach in life that's the spiritual awakening which is happening secondly you would now want to find the life purpose when the awakening happens you try to find the purpose of your life also you do uh, many spiritual practices you get accustomed to spiritual practices like you know full moon day meditation or use or some positive crystals in your life to really you know tap on to those energies like we have certain aura we have so we have different chakras which i will do videos on specifically on those in in, in the upcoming videos but in order to enhance your body aura and chakras you would now start using some of the lucky crystals in your life and that can really work you know spiritual awakening and use of lucky crystals can really really work in your life and spiritual spirituality will pull you towards certain energies for example you if i keep like five different crystals and if i tell you to pick anything you would be drawn to certain specific energies based on certain specific mahadasha antardasha or the planetary combinations which you are going through you will get attracted all the gems all the crystals are beautiful but we are attracted to comment below and let me know what is the gem or what is the crystal which you are more attracted to some people get attracted to amethyst some people get attracted to rose quartz some people get attracted to green labradorite or any specific color so there are so many colors and we are drawn to certain colors or certain crystals based on our aura our energy levels right not everyone is drawn to one specific gem or a color so these are all the signs all the beautiful signs of getting spiritually awakened last but not least the summary of this video is that when the spiritual awakening happens you will feel it your soul will feel it and you will be like when the world is sleeping you will be awakened for example in the night time specifically between like at 3 am you are suddenly awakened 4 am 5 am in the morning these are the time these are time when suddenly in the midnight you get up and you are you don't get sleep and you are like thinking a lot watching out from your window or uh this is the time you can actually really manifest good things in life because ideas are coming up at the time when the frequency every the world is sleeping at 4 am and you are awake to meditation to yoga start writing start reading books 
start reading spiritual books you can tap on to these opportunities this is excellent and you know very less people are gifted with these abilities to be awake at like 4 am or 5 am and when the traffic is less when the frequency we have like us on earth in your city where you are in you can be like california new york new jersey can be toronto you can be seattle very busy cities where in the frequency of people is very high towards the universe when everyone is awake the frequency the traffic is more but at 4 am the traffic between you and universe is less and that's the time when you have to really work on all these things okay comment below let me know if you have any questions and i'll see you tomorrow with new video on astrology palmistry and spiritual sciences till that time take care and keep doing the right karma